Hello, this video we will explain about the mechanism of halogenation of the benzene. So before I continue with the mechanism, I will repeat back, recap back about the halogenation of the benzene. So halogenation of the benzene, we will have rectangle benzene and our reagent is halogen. So we can use Br2 or Cl2 with the presence of Lewis acid as catalyst. So if you use Br2, as a halogen, so our catalyst is FeBr3. If we use Cl2, the catalyst can be AlCl3 or FeCl3. So as we know that benzene will occur substitution reaction or more accurate is electrophilic addition reaction. So what you need to remember that in this benzene, every carbon have one hydrogen. So you will substitute one hydrogen from any carbon from the benzene with the halogen. So in this case, it's Br. So we substitute one H with the Br. So the side product is HBr. So we will go through with the mechanism. So the mechanism will involve three steps. Step number one is formation of the electrophile. So the electrophile in the form of complex. So as we know that, in step number one, the electrophile is Br+. plus so because we want to substitute H+. plus. H plus, we substitute H with the Br. So, our electrophile is Br plus. So, how to produce a Br plus? We will use this halogen with the Lewis acid. So, in step number one, does it involve a benzene yet? We only use this one to produce the halogen or our electrophile which is Br plus. Okay, so in step number one, they only involve Br2 and also our Lewis acid FeBr3. So, you take your reagent and your catalyst. Okay, your reagent, which is Br2. We show the bond between Br2 with the lone pair. Okay, as we know that FeBr3 is Lewis acid. So, when we say acid, they are electrophile. They are able to accept electron. So, they will accept the electron from Br. So, we can take any lone pair from the Br2, attack the Fe. So, I take one lone pair from the Br, attack Fe. Okay, so when they attack, as we know that when we attack, we will form a bond. Because this lone pair already have two electrons, so they can form a bond. So remember, they use double-headed arrow because movement of two electrons. Okay, so what we produce, this Br from three lone pair, they will remain only two lone pair because another one lone pair already attack Fe, so they already form a bond with Fe. So remember, when you gain something or lose something, calculate the former charge. So now I calculate the former charge Br first. We don't need to calculate former charge Br here because it doesn't give and uh, doesn't give or gain anything. So this Br, if we calculate former charge, so we, as we know that Br is group 17, so 7 valence electron minus 2 bond minus 4 unpaired electron. 7 minus 2 minus 4 is positive 1. So positive 1. And then Fe. Okay, Fe is quite hard to calculate former charge for transition element like Fe. Okay, it's quite hard to calculate the former charge for transition element for Fe. So, it's more easily, you need to remember for Fe, if they gain something, they will, because they gain electron from BBR, so they will become negative charge. So, this one we call complex. As I mentioned before this, firstly, in step number one, because we want to substitute Okay, I repeat back by Z the equation. We will substitute one H with the Br. So, supposedly we produce Br plus in step number one. But Br plus is not stable to be formed. As we know that Br minus is stable to be formed. But Br plus is not stable to be formed. Because they are not stable to be formed, we only stop at this step. They only stop at the complex form. So, we not break this one to produce Br plus. Because Br plus is not stable to be formed. So, we stop until here. Complex. So, you will bring this complex in step number 2. So, we already produce an electrophile. So, we already produce an electrophile which is complex. So, will be used in step number 2. So, in step number 2 is formation of the arrhenium ion. So, we will use our benzene because we want to substitute one H with the electrophile. So now step number two, we copy our benzene and our complex that we produce in step number one. So as we know that we want to substitute H with the Br. So to substitute H with the Br, we do addition of the Br first. So how to know the addition of the Br? How to do the addition of the Br? Okay, as we know that this benzene is nucleophile. As we know that also the benzene have three 
pi bond or 3 double bond means that they have 3 pi bond so they are nucleophile. So during attacking, we only choose one pi bond. Doesn't matter which pi bond you, you take. So pi bond, they are nucleophile, they will attack the electrophile. Okay, so don't forget to copy the charge also in your complex. So the double bond or the pi bond, one pi bond, doesn't matter which pi bond, will attack the Br. Okay, we attack the Br that doesn't have charge. Okay, doesn't have charge, so we take this Br. So we only want to take one Br. So what will happen? We need to break this Br Br bond. So as we know that this Br is plus. So we need to give back the electron to make the Br become neutral back. So we give these two electron to Br. Okay, so means that we already break this bond. So we only take one Br. So what happened when double bond attack Br? So this double bond or this pi bond will break. Or double bond will break become single bond. So we break pi bond become single bond. So just see this structure first. So what happened to this one? They break pi bond. They become single bond. So one carbon doesn't matter which carbon from this pi bond will gain Br. Will gain Br and another one doesn't get anything. So this carbon when they get 4, they already have 1 H. Now they already get Br. So now this C already have 4 bonds. So C, when they have 4 bonds, 4 valence electron minus 4 bond, so the 0 form a charge. So they doesn't have charge here. But this carbon, as you know that this carbon have 1 H. Okay, because it's skeletal structure, the eyes doesn't show the H, but it doesn't have, they have 1 H. They have 1 H. So this carbon now have 4, 3 bond. This carbon have 3 bond. 1, 2, and another third one is with the hydrogen. So, if you calculate the formal charge for this carbon, 4 minus 3 bond is positive 1. So, this one is positive ion. Positive carbon. This one doesn't have charge. So, remember, we only break this pi bond. So, we break pi bond, become single bond. Uh, from double bond, become single bond. So, we break pi bond. So, 1 will get the Br. And the 1 doesn't get anything. Because they only have three bonds, so they become positive charge. Okay, so these two double bond doesn't move. They still seem at their own place. Okay, as we know that benzene are very stable or they have unusual stability or special stability. So what they will do, they will help the plus to gain the stability. What they will do is, we will use the resonance structure. So when you use resonance structure, you must use this arrow. Okay, what we'll do, this electron, this pi bond, will help the C plus by donating the electron, sorry, donating the, the electron to this side. So this pi electron will move to this side, this bond, this single bond, to form a double bond. So this double bond still maintain, and then what happen, this carbon will become, uh, become less one bond. They still have one H, as you remember. Every carbon in benzene have 1 H. So now this carbon have less than 1 bond. They have only 3 bond. So they have positive charge. So same as this one, when they have positive charge, this bond will have this positive charge by donating their electron to this side. To this single bond. So what happened? You will form double bond here. So the double bond here maintain. And then this C now have less than 1 bond. So now this C, I have 1 H and then 2 bond. So they only have 3 bond. So as usual, we calculate formal charge. 4 minus 3 is positive, positive 1. So this one we call resonance structure. Or we can call this one arenium ion. So you need to show all the 3 resonance structure and how the bond is shared, the electron. How they use their unusual, unusual stability or special stability to help each other. Okay, so remember they move and then you need to check which carbon they have less one bond, you will become positive charge. Okay, now it's benzene. So when this pi bond attack the Br, they will, when this pi bond attack the Br, so they gain one Br and then the one become positive charge. So what happened to this bond, they give back to the Br. So what happened to this structure, the Br before this, they have two lone pair. So now they have three lone pair because they already gained the electron from this bond. So now they have three lone pair and then FeBr3. Still as usual, they have that 
FE have their own charge because they doesn't get and lose anything or gain anything. So now the BR have lose their charge. If we calculate the former charge, the BR is uh, BR is seven valence electron minus one and then minus six unpaired electron to so zero former charge. So now BR doesn't have charge, FE still have negative charge. Or we can uh, write this one, FE BR4 minus. But usually I use this structure because it's more easily to show the bond, uh, bond breaking in step number 3. Okay, in step number 3, because we know that this reaction, I we back to the equation, as we know that, the reaction is substitution reaction. We substitute 1H with the BR. So now we already add the BR to the benzene in the step number 1 in step number 2. In step number 1 and step number 2, we already add BR. But supposedly, the reaction of the benzene is substitution reaction. So as we know that we do substitution reaction, supposedly we substitute 1H with the BR. Now in step number 1 and step number 2, we already add the BR to the benzene. So now that means that we need to remove this hydrogen. Okay, so we copy the structure. Doesn't matter which structure. So we copy this structure. So doesn't matter which structure you take from this product in step number 2. Doesn't matter which structure but only take one. Okay, I take this structure, the first structure. So as we know that we already add BR and we need to lose the H plus in step number 3. So we need to lose the H plus from the carbon that already have BR. So we not lose the H plus from this carbon, this carbon, or this carbon, or this carbon, or this carbon. We need to lose the H plus from the carbon that have BR because we do substitution reaction. We need to substitute one H from the benzene with the BR. So because we already add BR to this carbon, so we need to lose the H plus from this carbon also. So how to lose the H plus? As we know that FeBr3 is catalyst. So catalyst, we need to use at initial and then we need to produce back. Already use FeBr3 and then we produce FeBr3 become FeBr4 minus in this step. So we need to bring this FeBr4 minus in this second third step. Then what we do is we can see that Br have many lone pair. So one lone pair they can form bond with the H. So lone pair from the Br attack H to form HBr. So they only take the H. So what happened to this bond is they will back to form a Pi to form a pi bond. So this bond will back to the C, C plus bond to form a double bond. And then this FeBr3 we need to produce back. So what happened? This bond will break. It goes to the two electron from this elect bond will goes to Br. So what do we produce? We produce a benzene with Br, bromobenzene. So because we already back to this bond, so we produce Double bond here, so we already form our benzene back with the bromine, and then now Br and H, because they already attack, so we produce HBr, and then this Fe, because they already donate the electron to Br, so they already form their FeBr3. Okay, so this one is the mechanism of the halogenation of the benzene, but I use Br. So if you have another example that you Cl2 with the FeCl3, or Cl2 with the AlCl3, the step still same. So you need to remember in step number 1, we doesn't form electrophile Br plus or Cl plus. We form in a form of complex. So we will bring this complex in step number 2. So we can you can use another example for the halogenation of the benzene. You can try by your own. I suggest you when you try, doesn't refer to this video or doesn't refer to notes. Try first by your own. And then you can check back on your notes or on the video. Thank you.